Hi, here's the second part of the tutorial for inverse kinematics with Blender. In this one I want to change the armature in a way that I can make my character crouch in pose mode by selecting this stomach bone here. I have to change the hierarchy of my armature and set the stomach bone as a parent of this little bone above. Press Ctrl P and select Keep Offset. And now in pose mode I'm able to apply this crouching here. Now let's hide the camera in object mode. Press H to hide it because we don't need the camera at the moment. And then I set my 3D cursor to the center because I want to add a new bone at that location. And this bone is for controlling the whole character. Rotate it around the x-axis 90 degrees and scale it a little bit down. And now let's call this bone move all or something like that. And then I will select the stomach bone, the pole bones and all the IK bones and define an offset to this main control bone. Okay, now I selected all the bones in edit mode and the last bone to be selected is this control bone, then press control P and keep offset. And when you switch to pose mode now, select this bone and press G, you are able to move your character around with one single bone. Okay, now what is missing? We defined custom shapes for the IK bones and for the pole targets and I want to have a custom shape for the control bone at the bottom also. So let's add a circle and create a nice shape for this. A kind of arrow would be cool that points to the forward direction of the character. So let's extrude this out here and scale it down. That's a cool shape. Now switch to the first layer and to pose mode. Select the bone and assign the custom shape the circle. Okay. Now we have to rotate it 180 degrees around the z-axis. Press R, C, 180 and apply the rotation. And now you can select this custom shape of the control bone and move your character around or you can press the R key and then C to rotate it around the Z-axis. Okay, the last thing I want to do in edit mode is to uncheck this deform so that this bone isn't exported when we export the model and the armature as FBX. Okay guys, I really hope you liked this video and if you do, please press this like button and subscribe to my channel. And it would be amazing if you could support me on my Patreon, here is the link. Thanks a lot for watching and come back soon to JNM.